Good morning, Viking. Today we're going to be looking at how we killed the first boss of Valheim, Eichter. So what you need to do, you need to find this altar area and Hugin will probably be telling you about these stones. And what you do is that you look at this Vagvisor Ekter, which registers the location of where the boss is actually being spawned. There are some preparations we want to make. You want to make sure you got a bunch of arrows. Wood arrows are good. Probably want to make the fire arrows as well. Get yourself a shield. It's going to really help. And of course, a regular bow is fine. And this is how the area looks. Of course, normally minus all these logs. And why do I have the logs? Well, actually, they're one of the ways to make this even simpler. Because enemies in Valheim have some problems dealing with terrain things. Getting up on rocks, getting past logs and everything. So having a bunch of these one around just makes it a little bit harder for him to get to you. And that makes it easier for you to keep your distance in shooting him. You probably want to make sure you, got, sure you have some armor. You don't want to get too close anyway. He has one area of effect, one melee, and one ranged weapon. Grab a few different types of food. Grilled necktail is good. Having some cooked meat and maybe some honey for the stamina. You do need two of the deer trophies, which of course are fairly easy to get. And then you basically just offer them and... Well, he's going to be coming up. Where I'm going to actually equip my fire arrows here. Let's see what happens when he comes in. It gets dark. He is one of the Forsaken and uh, and he's going to be over there somewhere. And you see, coming in there and now he's actually hunting for me. But because he can't get past these logs and that makes him basically go around a lot more. Instead of charging you, he's going to be going back and forth and that allows you a lot more effort to, uh, or time rather, to shoot at him without getting hit. You see just a few hits and he's going to be coming closer and there you hit me a little bit. You can use the shield to block or you can just sort of hide behind these uh, these pillars, stone pillars, whatever that are there as you're shooting at him. He will be moving around and again there he wants to get me again. I'm going to see if I can keep behind here. You see the locks are sort of pre preventing him from getting too close. It makes him run away. And then he comes back. We just keep repeating that he's actually not too difficult and his ranged attack can be blocked by just standing behind the, the rock here. Having your arrows on the hotbar helps you switch easily by just hitting 6 and 7, which makes it a lot easier just going back and forth. Now, some of his attacks actually do break up some of these logs, so be careful about that. Make sure you have enough of them and don't get hit. Oh, I did get hit there by his lightning thingy. Having a shield is effective because it allows you to buff a little bit of the the damage that he's providing, either on the ranged attack or even his his area of effect. But you can use that one, but just get in and just hit him a few times as well. He is not that bad a single player. The more players you are, of course, the more hit points he has. And then he vanishes in a smoke and hard antler. You get the trophy. And that's what you actually want to have because getting the trophy allows you to to go back to your altar and this is where you put down the altar the trophy which unlocks what you see down here this special power that you have and in this case Aether which gives the ability to run and jump better and uh, basically, basically the stamina usage goes down which means that you hit F you call for the gods of the well you call for the power of Aether and you can run and you can jump much better than you could before, which is really helpful when you're moving around Valheim. You probably shouldn't have any major issues with killing Aether, and second bonus is that you get these hard antlers, which allows you to make the antler pickaxe that you can use to get bronze and progress in the game. And it's always useful to bring your own the barn door when you're walking around, because uh, a lot of these early game enemies actually can't do much damage against it. That's how simple it is. I'm going to take him out and I'll go back to my building. Have a great time, Viking. See you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.